back on the in Murrum. We uh, we're gonna call this the Back to the Roots trip 2020. It's me and this old guy you see over here. Yes, this is where it all began. Back in the days. Back in the days. Yeah, so Hokan, when were you your first time? Could have been 80, 81, 82 maybe. Okay, we met here, it was yeah, spring. So yeah, it was the first time. Yeah. I was here with Johan, yeah. it was me. And uh, when was that? It must have been like 83 or something like that. I think it maybe it was uh, 82. I think it was 82. the year before Norway. Oh, uh, maybe. Well, <clears throat> I started at 77 and um, it's what, 43 years ago, which is just mad. You can think I'm old, you know? I'm not old. You're ancient. <laughs> <laughs> ancient. <laughs> yeah. So we're on the smokehouse stretch. Pool 17. A lot of good memories here. Fish will pass the rapids and come up here and it's a good chance. And we just passed the bridge and no one was here. So we decided this is where it's gonna happen. Start of the back in the root strip. Back to the root strip, sorry. So right down here by Luxenshus and the office, I find Ira Maria. <laughs> uh, you're the boss, right? I'm the boss, yeah, right. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell us a little bit about this season, 2020 season. Well, obviously it's been a, a, a different season because of the COVID-19, of course. So we had to cancel our uh, premiere, which was very sadly because it was the 80th premiere. Uh, so April, very slow, and almost everything was cancelled, everything. And then of course all international guests um, cancelled right away. So April, very slow, but still we had people, local people fishing here, so the, the fishing was good. Mm. Uh, and as you all know, we had ridiculously amount of water mm. this uh, uh, winter and uh, spring. So we were up in 120 cubics per second. Uh, and then slowly at the premiere we had 80 and then from 60 it's been really going fast so right now you can see it's 20 20, 20. and 13 degrees in the water yeah. and a lot of fish running a lot of fish running we had nine salmons caught yesterday uh, and it's a lot of people here right now so it's gonna have a it's gonna have a good weekend um yeah so we had april was slow um uh, beginning of may slow but then the the first fresh salmon came and that's like uh, all the time here in Murrum uh, it's a bit of a you know then it starts again now we as you can see whiskey is full of people full of people, uh, full yeah. of people um, and to people those looking. of you who don't know when you say nine salmon that yeah. is really really good uh, I remember back in the 80s and 90s there could have been years where there was not nine salmon caught the whole month of May. Yeah exactly. So, no, so it's, 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 it's really good. good to see. It is good to see and hopefully yeah we, I had one in the way in this morning so and it, a lot of people are here the fish is here and it's the fish is also looking really good. There's no uh, uh, ras on them anything not, not red they're, they're, they're really nice fish. This is 
is the tail of Rosenthaler. Possible, but beginning to get low, I would say. And the rapids down there. I've been following fish down here. It's crazy. Landing them all the way down to Pashapon. Talking to you here, uh, in the background we have the big hatchery, yeah. which is now closed. And uh, closed, I could yeah. say that I I was one of them that wanted that closed 25 years ago. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and it was a big, big bite on uh, on uh, uh, wild fish and uh, hatchery fish. Mm -hmm. But but today there's a different approach. Yeah. Hatchery is not the, the the future here anymore. Exactly. So we closed it down is it two or three years ago uh, when I started here because as you said it, it's a different time right now we don't see hatchery as a modern way of uh, conserving the stream or the fish anymore we we work on that natural basis we we do restoration work we try to every year we do restoration work we take uh, a specific part of the a river and try to bring it back the way it was before our kind humankind came and uh, you know, destroyed it. That's the way we work now. So now, right now, it's just a enormous building. Yeah. But, and also, if we look in a little bigger perspective, yeah. uh, you're now also uh, opening up. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm in, I'm, even I'm getting old, I mean, uh, I'm a dam removing generation. We need to start restoring things and take the dams away. Yes. And uh, one of the biggest, or the biggest one in Sweden is uh, is starting this year, right? Right, it's actually starting as we speak right now. This week they're starting to demolish what's inside the dam. The big, uh, I don't know what the name is in English. The, the thing that's inside a power station, the big okay. uh, machines yeah. and everything. So they're working inside this week. Uh, and the dam is slowly reducing. Uh, it has to go down from the beginning, three and a half meters. So we have a little bit uh, more water to, um, the, the water level is supposed to go down. And then we start the work with the dam removals uh, the second week in June. Then it's okay. gonna be all gone. So when this dam is gone? Yeah. What's gonna happen? Then it's free passage for yes. the salmon. How the much sea more trout. spawning grounds uh, will it be? Well, actually, that's very tricky to count on because it's gonna it's gonna change a lot uh, the way it looks up there. So I can't really say any any distance or or any um, path, whatever. But but we know today that the dam uh, slows the salmon down five weeks. So it takes five weeks for the salmon and sea trout to find the small little hatch they're supposed to go in and go up this um, the salmon ladder. Yeah. Ladder, yeah. Uh, so right from next year, or actually just in a few months, um, the salmon and sea trout will have a cereal waiting time. Yeah. They're gonna be up. We're gonna have a fresh salmon in the Sphinx though next yeah, year. Yeah. At the same time, they're down here. Yeah, fantastic. It is. And I must thank you for for running this operation in an ecological, uh, sustainable way. Um, as I started saying, I was fighting the the old bosses here <laughs> because they thought the future was the 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 hatcheries and now we know that uh, this is done in a in a better way so yeah. things change it's been hard for me to it's, it's sometimes it uh, hasn't been an easy process uh, i came in here to this organization when when everything was 
What's twisting around? So How long have you been, been exciting. Huh? This is my fourth season. Fourth season, mm -hmm. yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. We need to keep on changing and, as you say, keep on restoring mm -hmm. back what man destroyed once. Yeah. So, last little question. Yeah. How much do you fish yourself? <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, tricky question. No, it's not tricky. I don't fish a lot since uh, it's too close, I think. I uh -huh. don't get the opportunity to fish maybe four or five times a year. Okay. I still, I still haven't caught my first salmon here yet. Okay. Don't tell it. We'll come this year. Yeah, okay? you, if you help me. <laughs> Jag sa det på nidjan igår, jag bommar en fisk där. Ja, man vänjer sig inte vid de här. Det är inte så vanligt. Det är inte så stor. Det är som en öring i början. 5-6 kilo. Oh. Shit! Shit happened! Shit! <laughs> well, uh, to lose a fish is always terrible, but to lose one here, especially like now, I lost one yesterday, good, good fish like this, maybe 5-6 kilos, this is the same. You don't get that many chances, you really want one. Now I've been two days lost two, and had another one that pulled me more action than normal but it's absolutely shit and you get shaky and you get everything that should be with salmon fishing uh, you know terrible i changed fly i've put down this little smaller fly patagorba two rubber legs uh work well on the slower water here use the current to create the belly and this fish just nailed it um, you're a bit soft in the mouth. I think you lose more Baltics than you do with Atlantics actually, but shit. Luckily it was not 20 kilos, but it doesn't really matter. Here you want one. The difference between zero and one is so big. Okay, so try again. That's the only thing you can do. Get on it. I always try not to put the line down on the water between the casts. That's why I do this little extra switch thing. No matter what technique you use, I don't think you should put the line down and rip it up. Sound travels so good underwater so you will spook fish even if they don't move. They're gonna be aware you're there. And um, I don't think that's good so. This is where we learn to fish quietly. Yeah. You need to fish quiet in, on the Murrum. Yeah, because it's also so many people. And if you will find a, a fish that is rested, it's been in, in peace and quiet, then it needs to be in peace and quiet before you actually get your fly in front of it. So. Okay, so are you doing?
what is tricky here, I think now on this, normally you fish a really fast fly, but on the cold water now, I, what I feel is the trickiest is to find the right speed. But I hooked a few fish and, and, and those fish have been taking the fast fly, even though the, the water's been pretty cold. Okay. down in pool too and I saw this fish come up by the bush and uh, and I actually said to Sven was coming I'm right now where it should take and and I put the fly there fish the intermediate with a little tip and uh, t -t -t -t. 
small maybe three centimeter pot of gora and he just nailed it or she just nailed it really nice fresh fish and a crazy fight took 100 meters all the way down I was on my way running around the trees here and and then he turned came up this side and the line was still pointing down there and the fish was jumping around here it's like maybe five times clean out of the air very beautiful fat broad backed I would give it 10 kilos yeah and uh, fantastic after losing a few fish it's always good you can get them in and you can hold them like this careful super nice and here it's not about the size it's uh, this time of the year it's about getting one I would just be as happy if it would have been five kilos five or fifteen doesn't really matter And you see the big spots that are typical for the marine fish with the green back and the big black spots. And you see how white it is over the back. Classic Baltic salmon. Very nice fish. Actually, especially the marine fish get these big spots. Really nice. circumstances the, the practice of stopping hatchery fish is great but anyway oh, shit shit, shit. <laughs>